In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can troubleshoot your Samsung phone to find out whether an app is causing issues or if your phone has an internal problem. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now, Safe Mode is something that's available on all Android phones. So this is a way that you can actually turn off all third-party applications so that it will only run the default applications so you can see if it's a third-party app that is causing an issue or if it's something internally wrong with your phone. So now we're gonna go into the three different ways you can enable safe mode on the Samsung phone. So this one is the Galaxy Note 9, but this would work on S9s, S8s, other devices. So the very first one is to turn off your phone. So here we're just going to power off the phone like that. Wait till it turns all the way off. And then you're going to turn back on the phone. All right, now the phone is off, so we're gonna turn the phone back on. So wait to touch anything until you see this screen and then hold down the volume down button. And you will wanna hold this on until the phone boots all the way up. And now you can see down here in the bottom left-hand corner, we are in safe mode. So right now it's pulling up just like normal, but if for some reason you had like an ad on your lock screen, if you turn on safe mode, that should go away, indicating that there's an application on your phone that's actually causing an ad to pop up here. So we're going to unlock the phone. Here I need to put in my pin code to log in. And then when you get to your home screen, you'll notice a few different things. So right now, there are some applications that are colored, and then here we have this app that is gray. Now any gray application is actually a third-party app that was downloaded separately from what is installed already on the phone. So here in my messaging folder, messages is the only default application. So if I wanted to run my phone in this mode for a while, you could still text message, but you wouldn't be able to use some of the other features like if you had third-party messaging applications, those would go away. If we go into our app section, you'll see here that all of these apps that I have are third-party applications except for those default apps. So those are the only apps that are currently working. So let's say before you went into safe mode, your phone was vibrating every 15 seconds and you couldn't figure out why. If you boot into safe mode and it stopped, that means it's one of these applications that was causing that that's gray. And so you would need to go through and find an app that you maybe recently downloaded and delete that. And I made a video yesterday on how you can go through and clear an app out and delete it from your phone. So you can check out that video in the pop-up on screen. So if you have used safe mode for a while and you're still seeing the exact same experience with whatever was happening before, most likely your phone needs to be warrantied out or you need to call support to get it exchanged. So you can call Samsung or go back to your carrier and find out the proper process to do that. If we're done with safe mode and we wanna go back into regular mode to turn off safe mode here in the notifications, we can just select turn off safe mode and it will then reboot the phone and boot back up like normal. That's also how you get rid of the safe mode in the bottom left hand corner. Now my phone has booted back up and safe mode is gone down here. So the second way to get into safe mode is to hold down the power button. And here when you see the power off, restart and emergency off, all you want to do is hold down on the power key and then it will pop up this option to go into safe mode. So now all I need to do is tap the safe mode. It is then going to power off the phone and boot back up into safe mode instead of me doing that combination where I hold down the volume down button. And now the phone has booted back up and again we are in safe mode. Now another way to go back into regular mode is to just simply turn off the phone just like normal, and then you would want to boot back up the phone and it will also turn off safe mode. And for the third way to boot into safe mode, I will be using my Galaxy S9 as we are going to be using Bixby and for some reason it is not available on the Note 9. So all we need to do is ask Bixby to go into safe mode. Turn on safe mode. You can tap or say safe mode to restart your phone in safe mode. So there you go, just like holding down the power button, but we can do it right through Bixby. Now, if you go into safe mode and it fixes your problem and you leave safe mode, and then your problem still is happening even after you delete the most recent downloaded apps, a few more things you want to try is going into the settings of the phone and then going down here to general management. And right here under the reset, 
here we have reset settings. So these settings right here will reset some of the default settings on your phone. Maybe something was changed, you accidentally selected something. So that would do that without deleting any information off your phone. So I would definitely try that um, before you go to any next step. And then if that doesn't fix it at all, maybe you wanna try a factory reset before swapping out the phone or warranting out the phone. Here is where you would factory reset where that will completely wipe everything off your phone. And before you ever do this option, I would make sure that you back up your phone via smart switch through an SD card or to another device or to your computer. So there you go, that is how you can boot into safe mode on your Note 9, your S9s, all other Android Samsung devices. If you guys have any further questions about why you use safe mode or how to solve a problem you're having, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see how to uninstall or delete apps that are having issues, make sure you select the video over here on the side as well as more troubleshooting tips playlist down there on the bottom. If this video helped you out, I would love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one.